okay, we are in the early days of Oshkosh, and it's time to go see what's cool, what's innovative, what's interesting, and boy, that generally means to stop here to see what you're doing lately. This has been a big year for you. You've been flying the design, and obviously got a lot of data from it, and now you're making changes to head toward what will hopefully be a final version. Tell us about the process. Well, of course, this R&D is always a, a process of trial and error, but also prediction, engineering-wise. And so we've gone ahead and done the prediction based off the calculations, the computer programs, and everything else, like the big guys use. Computational fluid dynamics gets you within about 10%. Wind tunnel takes you within 3%, and the rest you learn in testing, and that's what we've done. So what does the future look like right now for the development program and how far into the future do you see your production vehicle? So we are about ready to start construction of the first of three production prototypes heading into production after we test flew the initial prototype last fall. Probably build the first one in 12 months, next two in the next six months, and then after that go ahead and convert over all the fixtures and everything we built the production prototypes on into the production facility and start serial production. People have been watching avidly. The question is, are they willing to accept such a radical change in transportation? I know that you're getting orders and so forth, but what gives you the indication that the public is ready for this kind of dynamic? Well, one of the things that's nice about the switchblade is that we don't really need any changes to regulation or technology that doesn't exist, so we're ready to go now, which means as soon as we're ready to produce, people can use the vehicle. And it gives people such an advantage when you look at the time savings possible by being able to drive or fly. It really makes sense for business travelers and people that just want to be able to get out and see the world. So I think that's why we're getting, you know, I think we're over 2,600 reservations now. Another deposit, which is good. So that's 530 some odd hard deposits down and over 100 people have fully paid for a switchblade to get the earliest version. Well, it's an aggressive process. For many years, it was, okay, here's a conception, here's a conception, here's a conception. Mm -hmm. Seeing it fly was something else entirely. And you could see that uh, the vehicle had a tremendous amount of potential. Of course, it's one thing to take a, and a flying design and another to make it not just uh, available for production, but something that's practical on the road. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about your chances there? I think we've really shown that the vehicle is capable of performing well on the ground. We've already outperformed everything in our wheelbase category in road and track slalom course, and that's in history. They use professional drivers near empty weight. We use near gross weight, and I drove it. So that's one good sign that the vehicle is capable of on-highway aggressive use. Brakes are three automotive disc brakes, very quick at stopping you. Acceleration rate seems very high, 0 to 60 in 5.6 seconds. So we're a vehicle that most people are going to enjoy driving it as flying it. Well, there you go. What's going to be the certification basis for the vehicle? Experimental category, amateur home built, which means people have to come and build 51% of the vehicle. And we have a builder assist program we're initiating that will allow people to do that in one week's time. And this is based on what other people have done where they use automated machinery and train people how to use the machines rather than teach you all the multiple steps of how to assemble the vehicle. It's simpler to, change, to train people to build the parts. How do you fare under Mosaic? I know Mosaic is going to be interesting for us. We'll have to see on the, on the uh, landing speed, which it looks like the, the biggest hurdle for us to achieve, but we're close now. We're at 62. We need to be 61 on landing, so I think we're close. Well, Sam, we appreciate your time. Really looking forward to seeing this uh, continue into the next version. And at some point here, you've got to give me a call. Let's go fly. I will be happy to do that. Very good. Thank you, sir, for your time. Meet the first of a new generation of the M-Class family. The M700 Fury. An aircraft worthy of the name, an indomitable force. The M700 Fury transcends traditional limits with more power, blistering performance, a finely appointed interior, and the luxury of what matters most, time. Experience the Fury. Join the legacy.